and tell them all they had was one cat. So Jack's mother decided there was only one thing to do. You must take the cow to the market and sell her. Sell the cow?
peanut a butcher. How for so? That cow might just be what I'm looking for. I'm going to use these beads for your cow. Beads? Not just any beads. Magic beads. Jack wasn't sure what to do. He remembered his mother. He must get a good price. Magic beads him. Just what I'm looking for. So the butcher took the cat and Jack took the bee hook out to show his mother. Jack's mother was not very pleased. She threw the pin out of the window.
go up high in the cover away from the giant. To the table, the giant's wife gave him an enormous dinner. She told him that he must be imagining things. Wait, me my hand. There. The hand is a beautiful golden egg. Giant's wife gave him a beautiful golden heart. Play! The sounds of the beautiful heart made the giant feel very sleepy. The giant rested his head on the table and he began to snore. <laughs> and out of the carpet. And out. Jack grabbed the hen in the heart. Jack went around the castle as fast as his legs could carry him. He ran and ran, but the giant was all right there. Jack began to climb down the beast so down, down as fast as he could. Mother, get the axe! His mother could hear Jack's voice pound head. When she finally came out, Jack had almost reached the bottom. Wait, let me chop it. Chop it? Yes, a great terrifying giant is on its way. A giant? Then what are you waiting for, Jack? Chop it down. The giant came chopping down. And that 
was the end of him.